before learning or before doing the next sum, we have to learn one property, the property of geometric mean. Okay? This property of geometric mean is applicable only to right angled triangles. Now, this is a right angled triangle. The name of the triangle is AEC. It is right angled at E. Okay? In triangle AEC, measure angle AEC is 90 degrees and EB is perpendicular to the hypotenuse AC. Correct? So, EB square is equals to AB into BC. This EB square is equals to what? AB into BC. EB is a geometric mean of AB and BC. Okay? Now, suppose this AB is 9.3, BC is 1, EB square is equals to AB into BC means it becomes 9.3 into 1, EB square becomes 9.3. If EB square is 9.3, what will be EB? EB will be root 9.3. This concept of geometric mean, EB square is equal to AB into BC, we are going to apply in the next sum that we are going to learn. Okay? The next sum is this, represent root 9.3 on the number line. Correct? So, let us represent this. The steps are, the first step is draw AB of length 9.3 centimeters. Okay, so, let us take a scale and draw AB of length 9.3 centimeters. Right? Now, we are using arrow because it is a number line. Okay? Starting at A, 9.3 centimeters, we take a point B. Correct? Then, second step, produce AB to point C such that BC is 1 centimeter. So, let us produce this AB up to point C such that this BC is 1 centimeter. Okay? Now, third step, draw a perpendicular bisector of seg AC okay, which intersects AC at point D. Let us draw a perpendicular bisector of seg AC. What is the full length of AC? AB is 9.3, BC is 1. So, AC is how much? 10.3. 9.3 plus 1, 10.3. Let us draw a perpendicular bisector of this segment AC. For drawing perpendicular bisector, we keep a compass and draw an arc. We take a measure more than half of that segment AC and draw an arc above and we will draw an arc below. Then we will keep, keep the compass at A also and finish the arc. Okay? After finishing the arc, we will join the two arcs that we got with the help of a scale. Right? Wherever this line cuts the AC, that point we will take it as D. Okay? and it will be perpendicular bisector. Then what we will do? The fourth step, draw a semicircle with center as D and AD or DC as the radius. So, we will keep the needle of the compass at D and the pencil at A and draw a semicircle. Right? After drawing the semicircle, the next step, we will draw a perpendicular at point B. Point B is there, we will draw a perpendicular at point B. Okay? So, we will cut arcs on either side of B like this arc is cut on this right side of B as well as arc is cut on the left side of B and then we draw a perpendicular. Right? For drawing a perpendicular, we cut the arc like this and we join the arc and B with a line. Right? Now, it is perpendicular. What is the length of this EB? Okay? What is the length of this EB? It is root 9.3. The question is represent root 9.3 on the number line. This EB length is root 9.3. How? Let us understand that how. Right? Let us use the same property by joining the sides EA and EC and form triangle AEC. Let us join EA and EC and form the triangle AEC. Now, what is the measure of angle AEC? The measure angle AEC is equal to 90 degrees. Why? Because it is angle subtended by a semicircle. So, that angle is 90 degrees. So, can you see that? Now, the same property we are applying, going to apply. In triangle AEC, measure angle AEC is 90 degrees. Seg EB is perpendicular to hypotenuse AC. So, what we can say EB square is equal to AB into BC. So, EB square is AB into BC. AB is 9.3 and BC is 1. So, EB square is 9.3 into 1. EB square is 9.3. So, what will be EB? EB will be root 9.3. Okay? So, the length of this EB is root 9.3. They are asking us to represent this on the number line. 
not a perpendicular like this. So what we will do, we will put this EB on the line. Okay. So what we will do, we will using the compass, need uh, we will rotate this BE so that it will intersect this AC at point F. So needle at B, pencil at E okay, and rotate it so that it intersects the seg AC at point F. Okay. This point F that we got will be root 